So, right now I am testing a theory. And that theory is whether or not I can save after beating the preliminary bosses to Omega. This is Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Running on a PlayStation 3 on a 42 inch TV. And as you can see, the HD Remaster is very nice. Um, so. Here we are going back into the Omega area, and I just wanted to, uh, you know, show some of the graphic quality of this update here, because this is a really nice game. This is, if you like, really advanced storylines but you prefer a turn-based system where you can wait for each battle uh, you know each player waits before their turn is taken including the enemy oh no looks like you gotta fight these guys all right well I'm not too worried about it Aaron. Nom 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 nom. Make him happy. Alright, so I guess I'll just steal really and Well, the moral of the story is, after defeating these guys, you cannot, in fact, go back out to the save. But at least you can go get your, you know, uh, friend spear on the treasure chest over to the left there. So, I'm going to have to go through here and kill these guys. But I've already pretty much got everybody to level up where I want them to be, so. I'm just gonna steal some stuff and move on. Whereas before I was passing through here, I was trying to get everybody a turn. As you notice, there's no. Final Fantasy X, unlike 7 through 9 and 11 and 11 through current, there's no ATB bar. The characters don't have to build their turn up. It's just calculated based on agility stats, whose turn gets to go first. And then there's things like hasting and quick hits that allow you to supersede that and go even quicker. And then of course you have overdrives which are always fun. These guys happen to have a lot of money. So get some out of them. <laughs> I wasn't planning on recording these little battles, but yeah, they're cool. Whatever. Feel free to skip forward if you're in a hurry to see Omega. Don't worry, I'm in a hurry to get back to him too. He dropped a heartbreaker. 
Not even a, a four slot, a, just a, a two a two empty slot heartbreaker. So I was kind of annoyed. I don't care who he drops break age fee limit armor for. I just want a break age fee limit armor, you know? Ooh. Oh, it's kind of hard to resist leveling people up for a Tomberry. Let's do him first. And Waka and Kamari don't have that good of agility, so I'm going to change their weapons out to get them better turn action. Isn't that spiffy? Check it out. See, if I skip his turn, I don't know if he's going to be back before the Tomberry. But if I go right here to Weapon Chain, I just change the weapon out. He gets a turn. Change the back out. And I'm cool. Alright, now... I guess I'll go ahead and just put him to sleep just for good measure, because, you know, that's fun. If, uh, before you're leveled up enough to take him out with one series of Ultimas, Sleep Buster works like a charm. Uh, how many HP do you have? 30, 100? Oh, tempting. Very tempting. I'll go ahead and play it safe. And yeah, I prefer to be at 7,000 HP and not have three sixes up there on my screen. But, you know, I'm not freaking paranoid, so. Hmm. Sorry, I'm not trying to have an Illuminati symbol on my Final Fantasy characters. No, they just happen to be at that HP. Alright. Lightly <laughs> Freaking guys up soon. So it looks like we're gonna have a little sphere grid tutorial shortly. After I steal a few more light curtains. Light curtains, if you don't already know, can be used for auto protect. You got auto protect, auto auto protect, uh, auto protect even, yeah, or auto protect, whichever you prefer. You gotta grate the customer. Yes. <laughs> you gotta grate that customer. Yeah, grate that customer with some. Great. Um, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> okay. So, if you have auto protect, auto haste, ribbon, and break HP limit. You have pretty much what I call a celestial armor. I don't have it yet on this save file, but that's that's what I usually go for. Just pretty much give that to everybody. Break HP limit, ribbon, auto protect, auto haste. Because you know, shell, you don't always need a shell, and shell can interfere with your curing, you know? <laughs> right. Reflect him too. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck yeah, a bit. <laughs> All right, so get some money, get some more light curtains. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. Summon just for the heck of it. Oh, 
Oh yeah. I always have to make funny Aeon names. This is Mr. Happy. You want to try to get him happy. Let's see. 42 times 2, 84. Plus 1, 85. And maybe that'll make him happy. So you want to try to kind of train him to a particular amount. People go and give them all their money. That's a mistake. Damn, you were broke, ho. What? Yep. I start him out on one gill for a while. Until he gets... See that overdrive meter? When that overdrive meter starts to get right about there, if you give him about 777 gil, he will Zamoto for you. <coughs> Might even do it on his own after uh, being attacked, you know, like he'll get attacked after you give him just 42 gil or 1 gil, and then um, Next thing you know, he's doing it on his own. <laughs> you don't even have to pay him nothing. Here's another person you always want to steal from. They have healing waters. And gill. Lots of gill. That's Velfer. There's a uh, Big Bird. Ifrit is Fluffy. Ixian is Spike. Shiva is Bluebell. Bahamut is Meanie. Anima is Fish Face. Uh, Yojimbo is Mr. Happy. And the Magus sisters are. Jiggles, giggles, and wiggles. Why? Because I can. That's why. Alright, let's see if I get that camera right. There. Okay. Who are we talking about? Let's, let's do Bluebell. You're making me want ice cream, damn it. Well, isn't he thickly armored? Well, fine. You want to do things the hard way? We can do things the hard way. I'm gonna heal her up. Always give double casts to your elemental aeons. And that's how that's done. Never, ever go through Omega without first strike and Yuna out of your front lineup. You do not want to get ambushed by a Marlboro. Not unless you have ribbon armor. And like I said, right now, I no ribbon armor.
So here it is. The Sphere Grid. Earlier in the game, we like to move every freaking move. At this point in the game, when you can kill everything in your path pretty easily, why waste time? So I'll just wait until I got a few moves. Then I only got to move once, fill in a few spheres. I know that's fascinating, isn't it? I'm trying to hurry. Try to move three spaces at a time. Except for intersections of course. Be wary of adding a bunch of mana to Lulu on your way to leveling her up, on your way to a boss, um, because with the Onion Knight, her damage is determined by the percentage of mana that she has. So if you add a whole bunch of MP while giving her a bunch of magic strength, thinking, thinking she's going to do a whole bunch more damage, you're going to get disappointed. Because she'll wind up doing less damage because you were adding MP and forgot to give her an ether before the battle. And you know... If you expect me to fight some kind of giant four-legged demon monster, the least you could do is give me some ether. That's all I'm saying. Alright, so. We got initiative, we got first strike. And we have her to be hasted, because she can do a lot of damage with her double casting. Um... I haven't played enough Blitzball games yet. The lightning Strikes and the Chocobo Race are so much easier for me than doing that many freaking Blitzball games in a row. Um, so yeah. Gonna do it! Gonna do it! Gonna do it! Do it! Do it!
groups. And of course, don't forget to lance at him with Kamari. Eh? So he can learn Nova. Yuna here, Yuna there, Yuna, Yuna everywhere. Go Yuna. Oh, well this could be interesting. Here, let's take a hit. Oh, that wasn't nothing. Haste, shell, and protect for your Aeons. Always a good thing. As well as... Kiraga. Twenty-four thousand. Hmm.
Oh, shit. I wish I had a sensor up. That sucks. <laughs> oh. Wow, he survived it. How about that? I believe that's four times. One can cheer up to five times to increase physical damage. Alright. I'm getting bored with the amount of damage this guy's doing. Let's see how he likes being noted. <laughs>
Oh yeah, I saved my first oblivion just for you. Hey, read that first thing I'll show you. Peace on the far plane. Leave Spira to the living. Yeah. What he said. Little bit of AP. There's the wee So, hope y'all enjoyed that. They didn't give me my freaking break HP limit armor. You bastards. Thanks everybody. Like and subscribe. And don't forget to walk back there and get the uh, level 4 key spear or whatever it is. <laughs> Peace.